Hi Sagittarius, this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. There's a lot of information within this spread so we can get a sense of what is going on for you in March. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna shuffle the cards. I've already shuffled quite a bit off camera. I'll give it a few more shuffles and I will cut the cards. So we have the Four of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the World Major Arcana. So with the Four of Wands, we see this couple here, joined hands, and uh, they're kind of bracketed each by, their, by these wands. And there's a sense of um, two people coming from different directions, but coming together. And often with the Four of Wands, we think of it as a, as a uh, celebratory card, uh, a card or a time when you're going to have a chance to get together with people to memorialize a milestone or an important event, maybe an anniversary, a birthday party, graduation. Often we, we, uh, we see that this can be a relationship card, maybe an engagement, maybe something leading to marriage. It's where people are uh, celebrating and perhaps walking down a new path together. And when you're walking down a new path together, what does it do? It frees you up to start living a new phase of your life. And so the Four of Wands is a, it's a happy card. It's a day to uh, appreciate togetherness, friends, family, uh, it's important, I think, in society to have uh, recognition of important dates. And so it, it's part of that as well. It's to, to make sure that we don't forget to celebrate what's important of uh, years past or just the, the big moments. And so here, you know, there's a lot of joy within this illustration and equality and happiness. So it's an interesting card, uh, which is next to this much darker illustration of the Eight of Cups with the moon and the hooded man here looking at the spilt cup here. It's a sense of, of really having the truth that you're not satisfied with what you have and you feel that you need to move on. You need to either uh, find time for yourself to sort things out, to think about what's going on, why do you feel unfulfilled, why do you feel that you have to walk away, or that you need something else. It certainly could be, I've, you know, I'm done, I'm leaving behind the full cups to go find my satisfaction, to go find contentment in my life. And so, uh, sometimes in order to get to freedom and to get to the right path and to get to happiness, we have to leave something behind. And there's no prize for staying in a relationship or in a job that does not make you feel good or uh, that is sucking away at your soul. And uh, it takes some fortitude, it takes resilience, it takes strength to make changes. And really the Eight of Cups is this sense of, I am not uh, happy with what I have right now and I need to go, f I either need to go find it or I need to do something for myself to readjust my thinking, to get back to a place. So, you know, the typical rider weight would be the man walking off into the mountains underneath the moon, leaving behind the cups. In this illustration, he's kind of contemplating this spilled cup. We don't get a sense of movement, and, and he may just be uh, really feeling the sadness or the darkness of, of being unfulfilled. And it's just the Eight of Cups is, and often it's just like, yep, I just, I need to get away from this. I need to let it go and I need to go to find my place that's going to bring me happiness. 
So it's an interesting middle card here when we have the world, and the world is the final card of the major arcana. It's like the the ending of our journey, and it is the it is fulfillment, and it's finding contentment with uh, what you've done, your dreams. You've realized your dreams. You've realized your your hopes. You have done the work, you have um, brightened your world, you've made, it, uh, you've made it what you wanted. And so the world brings you this peace and the satisfaction that you're able to make these changes, to be successful, and to contribute. And, and often when the journey ends here, or the cycle or the phase within your life ends, it just doesn't end and we don't go into limbo. We start with something else. We start a new journey. We start a new project. We start something else that's going to uh, bring us down the path of enlightenment and growth, spiritual growth. So we have this recognition and celebration of your journey has been successful. We have this recognition and happiness here of a path moving forward together, perhaps with someone, with a emotional connection, or it's simply a celebration. And then we have here this energy of having to walk away from some things in order to find contentment. And in life that sometimes the, the choices that we have to make, that we have to leave something behind in order to make the space to find love, to find the, a better job that fits you, to find friends that are a better suit, more suited for you. So it's a, uh, I know I like to think of it as a moving forward type of spread that there's a lot of happiness here and happiness is earned. And we sometimes have to earn it through the lessons and through the emotions that we get in touch with, right here with the Eight of Cups. It's acknowledging that something didn't feel right here and that you're gonna have to leave something behind in order to access the happiness that are that's with the World card and the Four of Wands. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have, um, I'm gonna go this way, 21, uh, 29 and 33 and uh, 33 I think it's a master number I, I can't remember off the top of my head specifically how what it addresses so it can either be a master number or it could reduce we could reduce it down to six new cycles challenges I'm sorry it's um, six is social compassion what am I thinking uh, what else is six? I haven't had six in a while. I think it's about peace, finding peace. So, goodness gracious, let's get, get some more information from that Oracle card. Interpretation. Palmistry. So, interesting with interpretation because, again, Everyone has their unique perch that they sit on and how they view tarot, how they view uh, astrology. You know, it's, it's your thing and you're bringing your experiences. Each person brings their knowledge, their experience, and perhaps their uh, a little part of their psyche and their soul that they, that they give out. And, uh, it's important to interpret for yourself and it's important to find your own meaning and to trust your instinct and to trust your your gut when you're looking at situations when you're using any of these things like tarot or astrology you have to be your own best source and to trust yourself and to um, maybe do a little homework or just you know familiarize yourself with interpretations of different um, tools or strategies here to how 
to, uh, to gain awareness. So with interpretation, again, it's like uh, uh, reading classic literature, listening to music. We all have our own view. We all have our own bent and how, and how we view it and all all works it's all good so i hope that you found something helpful here today and uh, if you did and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it, it's, we have a wonderful community here and uh, comment let me know how you're doing and come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading thank you so much bye bye